Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about pressure balls. Let's look inside our ears and see what we got going on. Remember from school that we have three bones in our system, hammer, anvil, and stirrup. Kind of layman terms, I'm sure there's a Latin uh, derivative somewhere behind those, but we get the idea. Really, what are they? They're three hollow bones. Like, I had a doctor friend of mine call them bird bones because they're hollow. And they vibrate to pressure that enters the ear canal. They're small, like half inch, quarter inch, I think, some of them. So they're frequency and amplitude sensitive. They've been developed for years and years through evolution to achieve, you know, a lot of sensitivity and uh, processing ability, if you think about it, you know, because we can distinguish low, mids, highs can distinguish distance from reflections. There's a lot of things our system, our hearing system can do. And it's all based on vibration. Now our skeletal system vibrates also in sympathy to low frequency. Bone conduction is the process. So you can kind of think of your skeletal system the same way you think about the inside of your ears with the, you know, the anvil stirrup and the, what's the other one, the hammer, okay? probably looks like a hammer that's why it's uh, called that everything is part of our human hearing is vibration sensitive right our inner ear our skeletal system so we need low frequency resolution but can our bones hear the difference between mud and soup well, i don't think it's the difference between mud and soup i think it's the processes that produce the mud and soup low frequency low resolution is the standard in the business I'm, I've been in probably a thousand rooms in my lifetime, uh, maybe not that many, 500 in my lifetime. And I've never heard a low end I was happy with. It, never in any of them. Some of the bigger ones, yes, but only because they're big. So, you know, but small rooms, you never hear that. How do you get that? Well, you gotta have proper attack and decay rates. And this is where today's technology fails. This is where boxes filled with building insulation fail, okay? This is where two inch deep panels fail, regardless of what's on the inside of them. So we gotta have the fundamentals and the harmonics taken care of, and we have to focus on the low frequency. You gotta have horsepower. We used to laugh and say, you know, any product that's, calls itself a low frequency absorber, bass trap, that you can pick up and carry over your shoulder or bring into a room on your own. It's not a bass trap. It can't be. Our units weigh 240 pounds. That's serious. Pressure technology. It's not a box filled with building insulation. You can go on our website and read all about it. But here's your horsepower. Every unit's 12 square feet by design. That's the way I've designed them to be. It's 1 to 1.5 dB attenuation from 30 to 300 for the 10 and 30 to 50 for the 12. Nobody can get close to that in the marketplace. But that's what you get when you have mass and density and you use diaphragmatic absorption, which is the most powerful. So everything vibrates. In order to increase the resolution, we have to lower the impact of that vibration. So when low frequency pressure enters the room, it causes the air to start moving vibration. We got to reduce that process. We got to interject between the room and the low frequency pressure. And that's what we do with our technology. Pressure bones. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. And if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple of days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.